Hey y'all, how y'all doing? We are doing a um, video on the solar power on the pole with Montana Solar and Kyocera. But here's what we got. We welded our combiner box, our angles, and fit it up onto our, uh, um, our solar panel pole. All right, here's what we got. We cut our, our pipe, four inch schedule 40 pipe. Got my combiner box welded to it. And I use blue tape to protect the, the sides and everything. And there's our welds. Up underneath, all that good stuff. Bulk it in place and fit it up. Me and old Mr. Reese. But yeah, there's a combiner box. PV combiner box. And got as pretty straight and plumb as possible. And we cut our our pipe of um, we took a uh, about a foot or so off. It's now six six foot eight plus four foot in the ground, which is ten foot eight. And there's our four foot mark right here where the concrete's going to go. But here's our weep hole with a little right, little above the uh, little above the uh, mark that we needed. And we're going to blow a couple holes in the pipe as we go along for let the concrete with the torch. That the concrete go inside the pipe, but now we're getting ready to weld rebar to uh, everything here. All right, we'll be back shortly. I'm gonna get the rebar and everything welded up on there. All right, here we are welding up the rebar for the support. Done. Yeah, we're getting her done, y'all. Putting our structure, three bar structure in for the concrete. And this is what we got so far. We got a couple more pieces of weld right here, over there, a couple more pieces, and she's good to go. And we'll be ready. And I'm blow some holes in here. I'm gonna hot rod it. I'm not gonna use a torch, I'm gonna use a welding rod. I'm gonna turn my heat up and arc it out. We got all the rebar welded in place, and we got our uh, reinforcements here, all through here, on both sides. And look up from the back how we got it done. This will sit right on, on the dirt, um, right, and so it won't sink down any farther. And that'll just go right in place. This will hold it up, you know, sinking underground and hold the concrete in place and everything. So this will all do the job. And we blew our holes. I took and uh, turned my heat up on my uh, weld machine and uh, hot rodded it out. And just went, went along and went along. No need to grind it up or nothing like that because it's going to be in concrete. So yeah, that's what we got so far. So doing pretty good. And uh, like I said, the upper half's going to be it. Right here, this is a weep hole. That's our four foot mark, that's where the concrete's gonna go. But that way, that's just in case water ever got inside there. That's what that's for. And that's about a half inch above that. So that's what we got. All right, we'll be back. We're gonna do some painting on it. Uh, just touch up the welds and this and that with the, uh, some zinc, oh, not zinc, oh. Uh, yeah, some zinc, like, uh, Chromate uh, paint, zinc, or zinc, uh, we call stuff Reese. Mm -hmm. That paint. It's a uh, galvanized. Yeah, galvanized. Yeah, like a zinc galvanized paint. We're gonna touch it up with like epoxy type of resin after you weld, make a weld. And I'll show you what to do, y'all. Um, It's a cold galvanizing compound. 
high performance 7000 system. That's what we're going to use. All right, y'all. We'll be back after a while. We've got her painted up, we painted the end that we cut off of. She is now 10 foot 8, 6 foot 8 should be sticking out of the ground. And uh, got it nice and um, primed at a cold galvanized zinc compound. And uh, over here, we got uh, got our angles for our combiner box. We got um, painted them welds up and got a couple of arc strikes on there and welded those up. I mean, I painted those up with that 7000 system, um, rust oleum. So yeah, we probably have to touch it up again after we get the pole up in the air and get the concrete and all that good junk. But it looks pretty good. It's galvanized. It's hard for paint to stick to galvanized. But yeah, y'all, that's what we got so far. So let me know what you think. All right, next we'll have grease pouring concrete and all that good stuff. Y'all, y'all take it easy. We'll be back again. We we'll start pouring concrete. All right. Hey y'all, we're back again. Just made a uh, few little more uh, welds on here. Added some more braces uh, right here in the center. Uh, put another X there. Right there in the center. Just to get more support. Probably didn't need it, but I go overkill when it comes to a lot of things. <sighs> well, anything I build, that is. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Right there in the center. Got plenty of supports right there. So she's not going anywhere. I welded up with 6010 and then I went over it with 7018. Uh, just for the heck of it. Um, yeah, that's what she got. Schedule 40 pipe. And you see down through there the holes. Concrete's going to go in those holes and uh, fill her up all the way to, you know, from the four feet up. So, that's what we got. More stiffeners there in the center. She's gonna be stuff, um, tough and rugged that is. And right here is our four foot mark. Right here. So that much of it is gonna be in the ground. So, yeah, just an update, and that's where my combiner box goes right there where the two angles are. So, it's going to be pretty slick. That's some good, that is some super tough cold zinc cal um, galvanized compound. That stuff is tough as nails. It's like an epoxy. Good stuff. All right, a little update. We'll get back to... I'm gonna take my fort lid and have my help today. And of course, I didn't ask him. I was just busy, uh, just at last minute. So let me ask more stuff for tomorrow as I support pour concrete. If the weather permits, that is. So, there we are. And I use my fork, my forks on the back of my John Deere 2320 to lift it right in the center and lift and put it where I want it to. All right, y'all. We'll be back after a while. All right, now. Okay, y'all. We got our concrete in, and there we go. Got my name there, PV. Uh, Ronnie, his grandfather. I mean, that's Reese and his grandfather, RT, and it's Chris. You give us a hand, buddy. Uh, Reese's and my wife's name, my little girl's name, and the date we did it, August twenty third, two thousand sixteen, and. We got our we got our braces up on, in here to keep it level, this way and the other way, north and south and east and west. So we're good to go, and we got to put some duct tape up top there. Uh, I got some tropical storms out there in the Atlantic Ocean right now, not far from us. So we don't want to take any chances. And the we pull we d did that kind of got sealed, but that's all right. We'll just drill another one and repaint. And that's what we got. Now we've got to wait about seven days for the concrete to cure. 
and that's about it until we put the pole up. So, yeah, check it all around. Anything you want to see. And she is six foot eight. I'm six foot, so right six foot eight. So we're good to go. Alright, y'all, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless and supper five.